Oh, Christmas time, mistletoe and wham. Children singing, where's my Xbox? My mom only bought me a Switch. What a fucking bitch. I'm gonna burn down the tree and then kick my dog in its ass. Alright. Ever after, what's this doing in here? Alright. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I probably need to cash in eight Evolving Wilds. So we'll use one Evolving Wilds now, then a Swamp, then we'll play Glint Sleeve, then we'll play this, and then we'll use Ever After later on, and then we'll crack the second Evolving Wilds all the way then. So we got all our play sorted until turn six. Nothing to think about until then, ladies and jeeps. Ah, <sighs> yeah, this is what it, the Christmas series. I'd say my win percentage is about ninety-five percent. So I thought, let's play the shittiest deck that I... Well, not the shittiest. the Probably the fringiest wank deck that I have. And we'll see what happens. You can see how I react to losing. I feel like I'm in a better spot to lose all my games. Because I just feel good about life these days. I mean, we'll play the Majit. We've got a lot of cards. I still can't get over how shit this game was. When you start out with six cards and everyone's got foil planeswalkers at rank six. Bullshit. But I moved on from that. Unfortunately, I left a lot of my viewers in the dust because I just had too much spaghetti for their, I don't know, Dolmio sauces. Yeah, I think I play Scrap Heap. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? If it gets countered, you can cast it from the grave anyway. I got read the boners for things that get hairy a bit later on. He might have the Languinis or any old bullshit. We're just going to have to play our own deck. Like I said, it was all sorted out until turn six. Anyway. So let's just do it that way. This is supposed to be discard, I think. Even though there's zero discard spells and a lot of black aggro spells. Has he got a Languish? Is he thinking, do I pass out a Languish already? He's only got two creatures. And one of them can come back at whenever he wants. Decisions, decisions. Well, do you take five? Taking five is quite a substantial... I don't know. Slap in the baps, really, isn't it? Isn't it, ladies and jeeps? Do you want to take five slaps in your baps? You probably don't, unless you're one of those peeps who pay for that kind of stuff down the local source house. All right. No plays. Pass the turn. Weird. I will draw an extra card. Thank you. All right. I like my, I like my hands. Oh, what's the plan? What's the plan, sir? You want to get unburdened? Because that's what I guess that's what's going to happen. I'm going to make you start discarding all your cards. Hehehe, <laughs> saucies. All right, unburden. Whispers of Emrakul. Oh, no, I'll use Whispers. i got three card types in my graveyard. Oh, no, I need four, don't I? Oh, bollocks. I'm getting confused with spell mastery. Now I got three card types. Land, creature, artifact, sorcery. Is that right? Yes. That's not bad. You got four card types for three cards. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Don't you agree, ladies and gentlemen? Chandra. Now that is a bit of a spice bag. But he's got no cards left. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. So, read the bones. And look for a way to win this game, I think, is the plan. So, first things first. You get rid of your hand, son. Unlicensed. Alright, those are good cards. <sighs> Read the bones. Alright. I want some damage. Nah, that's not good. I'm actually going to hit Chandra this one time. Maybe I'll just keep attacking Chandra. I mean, I need to get rid of it. Alright, Scrap Heap is not good enough just to bring back with Ever After. So I'll play Falcon Wrath Maniac. I still love the art on this. I'm so posh. Look at my nice bouffant. I'm going to go to the ball and I'm certainly go not going to give BJs in the bathroom because I'm just too... What are you fucking smashing my boobs? She's had too many red wines. Alright, now I'm changing my mind. I'll bring two creatures back. We'll try and win from there. 
Do you agree? I know you do. Oh, I could play two manual airs. All right, we'll play two manual airs. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Uh, I got to discard a card. I'll probably discard evolving knobs. Or I could put that back on the field. We've got lots of options. Everybody, relax. He's got pretty much one chance to squeak his balls out of this. Is it going to be Languish? That will be bad. Uh, Disciple of the Ring. That's not going to get it done. Well, it will, actually. Can tap all my guys whenever he wants. I can kill this, I think. Nah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then it will cost one, and I can pay the cost. So, no. So, we do get to, we do get to smash Chandra's maps. Unless he... Yeah, we do. Miasmic Mamey. Hmm, I don't think I need to play that. Hmm. All right, bollocks. So, we got rid of Chandra, at least. But this thing, yeah, it's quite the troublesome, bumbling some. <sighs> so, no creatures in my grave. Ah, I got Miasmic Mame. But that's quite an underpowered ever after. One Miasmic Mame. You know what? Eat my balls. The more the merrier. If he doesn't have languish, then fine. There's no choices to make. You put your card in the grave, son. Now, do I shuffle my deck already? I don't think so, because it's not like I want um, that card on the top again, because there's nothing in my grave to bring back. Oh, dear. No wonder he took so long to put that in the grave. <laughs> you bellbags. I could still lose this game just based on this one card. What could he exile? A non land Is it instant or sorcery? Exile an instant or sorcery to tap one of my peeps. He's got one, two, three. So he can tap three peeps. Oh dear, has he got in a fit of rage? He took a long time to put his charger in the bin and now it looks like he's not doing anything. Is he pissing his pants? Is he a little pissy pants that he had to discard all his good cards? I'll give him to this, and then we'll Wi-Fi his balls. Because, you know, life is just too short. Alright, he's, he's he's not pissing his balls. Alright, you got one. Ooh, do I just run? Do I just attack with everybody, or just with this? I think I attack with everyone. Fuck it. Oh my god, Hotch. What? Too, it's too fucking energy, you stupid moron. Alright. I think this guy is a full-on moron. Yeah, we're going to have to Wi-Fi him. I don't know what's going on. This video is turning shit. I don't know what he's doing. What a fucking bitch. And I don't know. Maybe he's got an explanation as to why it's taken so long. Like he dropped his computer in the toilet. But I don't understand. Just eat my balls. Yeah, well, 
the AI has gone insane as well. <laughs> I'll let the AI do whatever it wants. Uh, am I blocking this? Nah. It's only going to be that big one time. What am I drawing? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, son. That's not bad. Now, I don't think I'm going to run my dudes in. Because I can sacrifice him to make Kalitas a bit better. Oh, I should have attacked. Eh, yeah, like I say. Eat my balls. Do I sacrifice that now? I don't think so, still. So, one turn to fix this. What a crybaby. This was the key. I mean, he would have just won on the spot, wiping my field out. But I had the foresight. I thought, man, I put my ass McMammy on the field. What could happen? You never know. I might do the squeebles. Any instance or sorceries left? One. Ooh. Uh oh. He could find his Languinis. Play it next turn. That's bad. Right, I'm going to actually shit on this balls now. The fatal push is not going to kill this because it's five mana. Alright, distended benderoos. That's not bad. Ah, oh, I was pausing it for the attack. So. Mm, I don't need to play no benderoos. If I sacrifice, if he blocks here and I can sacrifice it, then I can at least pump up the volume. So I'll save myself from Languish. That's why I'm not playing Distended Mind Bender. Although if he had Languish in his hand, I could have got it. I don't know. We'll see. What's this? Sacrifice a man. Hmm. Alright. Ah, oh, discard a card too. Alright, by my calculations, he's dead. What a little pissy pants. Although the AI did make a right royal fuck up of this game. Oops, did it again. I tried to pause the game to sacrifice something, but it didn't work. Not to sacrifice something. Yeah, I thought we were moving into attack phases. I'm not one of these peeps who just randomly pauses the game for no reason. Alright, that guy went off in his bathtub for no reason. I don't know what he was doing. He lost his charm. Everything was going nice and smooth, then he lost Chandra, and then he couldn't make a plate. What a fucking bell bag. Alright, let's keep this bullshit rolling. Do, 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 dee, dee, dees. A do, bop, boop, bop, 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 bop. Everybody loves doing shits. That's why God made it feel good to take a shit. That's what I'm saying. Mm, what do we see? Blue, black, Ravnica background. A blue mage, but he's got blonde hair. I don't know. We're playing A Train from the 1999 Smackdown. All right, double whispers and a murder and a miasmic. And I go in first. Let's roll. All right, this is going to have to just be for one card because oh, there's no way I'm going to get that many creature types in my balls. Uh, Sunken Hollow is playing the blue, black, squiggly balls. Mm, what am I throwing away? Evolving Wilds. Yeah. What's this? Create a million zombies. Yes. Mm. Alright. I am a fan of Dr. Kalias, if you didn't know. I think he's pretty good. 
Magic Arena, if you want to play four, play four. Although it's out of standard, so you can't play any. Ah, oh, just a land. So if I draw a land, I'll play Kalitas. Will I? I mean, it's dangerous. No, I won't. I'm playing Whispers again. Two card types. I'll, like I say, I'll never get three. Oh, so maybe I'll play BS Mick Mummy. Ugh, I don't want to put any more of my own cards in the bin. So let's just do this. Uh, he's shitting his pants now. He's got a card in there he wants to keep. Will he get to? If I draw an unburden. <laughs> Alright, I'm not playing Kalitas until he's got zero cards. That's my new plan. Uh, Read the Bones would be great. I think he would counter that. So I'm going to play a Miasmic and throw Murder away. All right, you keep countering my incidental shitness. Hold your bum cheeks. So I need Read the Bones to resolve. As soon as he got zero cards, then Kalitas can try and take over the game. All right, maybe I'll just murder this thing. We'll see if I draw a... Yeah, fuck it, I'm murdering that bitch. Murder that bitch, if I can. All right, we're stalling for lands. Is it Glint Sleeve next? That is not bad. He wanted to protect something in his hand, though. That's making me think, what? What did he want to protect? Well, it wasn't this, I don't believe. It wasn't that either. All right, read the bones. If it gets countered, it gets countered. Witness the end. Exiles two cards. Yep, yeah. and a land. I mean, we're sh we're shy on lands. All right, hold your miasmic mammies. Uh, bollocks. I'll see if he's worried about like a minus one counter effect. Nope. So win is the end. He'll lose two cards or he'll counter it. Then I think I can play Kalitas and not ship myself. They'll die. That's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. That's the plan. Are you with me on the plan? It might not work, but then rice and a peas. Or do I play glints? No, you know what? That's the new plan. We're playing threats. Uh, Alright. We'll see. Witness the shitness. Is it going to save my balls? Also, this was in Oath of the Gatewatch, the set that told the story that the Eldrazi's were defeated. This guy is not witnessing the end. Well, I suppose he is. But the end of these guys, not the end of his own civilization. He was fine. All right, classic blue, pause the game. Do no spells, do no abilities. Just, just pause it. All right, that's not that's fine with me. See, you don't play your Kalitas unless you know the coast is clear. The coast was not clear. The man had a moida. The man had moids. That is pretty gruesome artwork. Imprisoned in the moon, one left. Do I witness the end or do I Kalitas it up? I'm gonna witness the shitness. I mean. I think he protected something and he doesn't have whatever it was. That could just be shit. Oh, he's fucking blown the game up. What is with people these... Oh, I, I actually think that might be a design flaw. We'll see what happens. It was not nothing to do with me this time. Alright, just a game synced so it was nobody's fault 
Now, it's top deck wars, except I've got Necromatic Summons and Kalitas, so I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> no way! Well, we got Necromatic Summons, like I say. <sighs> Necromatics, come on. What happens when you counter a spell? You may draw a card. Oh man, that is just not fair. Now what can, now what can I do? He could just minus it and kill my Kalitas. I don't think there's any yeah, it's not what I can do from this point. What a lucky couple of top decks. Top deck. Counter my Kalitas and then this. Hmm. Yeah, what can you do? What can a man do? <sighs> so, if he minuses to kill this... Alright, we got a Kalias. For one... We've got one swing at it, really. Would that be enough? Draw one and then do some other stuff? Probably not. Alright. No way! Ah, well, you play counter spell bitches, this is what you get. Alright, I'll play someone else. This is fucking bullshit. Back for another game. Man. Well, that last game would have just gone on for about four hours and there's no way I can win. He had the two literal choose from your binder, the two cards that you would draw to get out of this mess. And he got it. What are you going to do? Mono black is not exactly premium spaghetti. All right. Get to go first. Can I erase his hand? No, I can't. Double asylum visitor though. I want to erase his hand. That's the thing. Let's let's have a look. All right, that's worse. Significantly so. All right, we get a hand burner. That's what I, that's what I want. If you go first and you're playing mono discard, let's at least try and do what it says on the box. So, two swings at drawing a land. Scrap heaps ground your turn two, unburden turn three, unburden turn four. Those are the that's the plan. Man, is it gonna be the classic play planeswalkers? Play scrap keep scrounger, don't draw any land, he gets the cost. Nope. Can't complain now. There we go. So you mulligan twice? Eh, it turned out alright. Now let's see what can be done. It is the ramp of lamps. Do I want to kill this guy? I know how much he can fuck my balls up, so I am going to murder it. I know saying unburden is usually quite good, but for my own decks, sometimes that card is just... It's the, it's the card. Turn three exploding vegetables. You're always so far behind. So, rice and peas. Never rise to the bees of my OVDs. Well, I've only got 43% of my battery left. He could have done exploding vegetables. And this, I suppose, is fine. Put a land in his hand. Discard the land. Then discard the land again. We'll have to see. Yes, I'd like to unburden, please. It's always good when they take a couple of seconds, because you think they have to be deciding. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get enough cards out of his hands in time. So, Eldritch Evolution and Bruna. So, it's green-white fatties, maybe? We'll see. 
Solemn offering. Sold. I mean, if he knows I'm unburdening stuff, is that what you want to get? Is that what you want to be casting, or what you want to be discarding? Uh, it's not, not. I'm not playing somebody else's deck. I'm not exactly Gabby Sparks quality. So fuck it. Unburden. I'm actually going to hold my evolving wilds. You just never know. It's not like I can play this this turn anyway. Uh oh. Yeah, I think that's it. He's got a card that I don't own. And it's it's rare that I can say that and complain. I don't own this card. How? Fuck you. <laughs> that's it. What did he even take back? What did he take back? I don't know. It's not my problem. Alright, what do I want to discard? Well, I don't have to do anything right now. Alright, can I be a 5 5 land every turn? Who on 24 life? No, I can't. Do I play Never to Return? I don't think that I do. Seven and seven is fourteen. Fuck it. Let's just shit all over our deck. So what's in my grave? Nothing I can do. Yeah, I just can't do anything. Really. Ah, Pulse of Marassa. That's literally the last playable card I'm ever going to own because it's in Oath. Oath is just shit. There's only two cards left in that whole block that I don't have that are not dog's ass. Ah, what is it? Kozilek? I mean, you could put that in a ramp deck. It's not good. I could put it in the reanimate deck. It's not good either, but it is Kozilek, which is super sexy. But it's not playable. Uh, what else? I don't know. What are you going to do? Hmm. <laughs> Let's just see what's in his hand. I think this deck is pretty shit. But what are you going to do? I said I was winning too many games. So, last one. And we could put this out to stud. And I'll only play it against subscribers. Because playing anything less than quality at rank 40 is just asking to get bollocked. Like, even werewolves and elves... You're a man. You just, just can't. What's the point? And I'll, I'll just bang on about this until the end of time. Magic jewels for beginners should be constructed decks. You pay fifteen dollars. I mean, the games industry is changing too fast, so it seems unlikely that any developers are wanting to make games where you buy that game and that's it. It's you buy this game. Oh, do you want an extra piece of the squeebles? Why do I get so many Evolving Wilds? There's only four. I've got more Evolving Wilds than Swamps, it seems. Still, i got lots of unburdened shits. Um, yeah, it seems like everyone is just on the old Hearthstone slash Candy Crush. Oh, we could make what is effectively Tetris and just have like a daily income of a million squid. So let's just do that. And fuck everyone who wants to actually play. Yeah, 15 squid. Jewels of the Planeswalkers. 15 decks for one year. To me, sounds like a good deal.
And I don't, yeah, it just does. I want to, I just want to go back to those days of having all the cards from all of Magic's history. Shit all over your balls. Everything's fine. All right, mono white. Do I play languish? I don't think I do. All right, well, that's good. Mm. Whispers of Emrakul, get one or hold Grasp of Darkness. Instant source. It feels like you're just going to be holding that for the whole your whole life. I'm not sure that's a great card. Maybe I should play that in Delirium. Mm. Nah, I don't know. Two mana, discard a card at random is okay. Alright, we're getting quite a lot of cards out of this guy's hand. But he's not drawing any lands. Alright, because I've got Obnixilus, I think I play Evolving Wilds if I don't draw a land. And Unburden again. And look for, look, just look for some shit. Mm. He needs black manis. He's got it. <sighs> Unburdened still the plan. Alright, Bontu. That's pretty unbeatable. But <laughs> what are you going to do? Alright, Evolving Wilds. Whoops, I want to cast that. Unburdened again. The problem here is if I play it and plus it, he can still smash it. Maybe. We'll see. I can't even play it for an another turn. I probably won't draw a land. If I don't draw a land, is it read the bones, look for a land, play Asylum Visitor? I think so. What else did he lose? Wayward Servant, that's great. Time to reflect. Exile target creature that was blocked. Yeah, get definitely get rid of that. Right, I think I need to get my charge cable. What's this? Yeah, oh, well, that's fine. I mean, you're not you can't do either. Can't do anything with either of those. Why is he not flinging that in the bin? Well, yeah, well, well, they can obviously cause a lot of trouble eventually, but currently, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna plus this and run downstairs and get my charge cables. Because it feels like the game's slowing down slightly. Alright, Zoibles, my boybles. So what did he do? He did. He played a 1-1 one, one somehow. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. How did he get a 1-1? One, one? Don't know. Don't care. <sighs> well, it didn't speed the game up at, at, at all. I don't know what's going on. Alright, Kalias. Whenever a non... Non-token, so killing that won't do any good. I still like playing it. Grasp of Darkness, this thing. So he doesn't do the Sacroblapes. <sighs> oh, that's how you get it. You pay four mana to create a 1-1. I see. 
Ah, I see. <sighs> All right, so next turn, read the bones. Dig, take a shit. All the rest of that kind of stuff that revolves around me saying arse and shit and balls. <sighs> Do I... All right, well, he's got... What's his name? Working. Bontaloos. But if he sacrifices it, that gets exiled. Hmm... Hmm, quite the conundrum. Can he can he see that? Can he see that it'll get exiled and he won't be able to put it back and I'll get a 2-2? Two -two? No, he doesn't see that. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that bullshit. Or maybe he just thought it was such an emergency he needs to attack this. No, he didn't even attack. All right. Everything is pretty sexy McGee's. So, Dread Shits. What is actually the play here? Could play Dread Shits and then Plague Belcher. Kill my Dread Shits. Could play Read the Bones. Just see what's up. I'll read the bones. Man, this is... I don't know what's going on. The grind. Mm, Alright, just in case. I could might, might be able to steal one of his gods. All right, we'll play the Miasmic Mummy. Get rid of his last card. I'll lose my Belch. And play Dread Shits. So neither of those dudes can block. I think he was blinded by the fact that he had no catcher, and he he shouldn't have he should have disc he should have uh, discarded that. I think. Yeah, if he top decks create three tokens, then he's in business. But if he doesn't, he's got two literal statues. <laughs> Cash this thing in. Hmm. I'd say that was that. Uh, I'm actually going to sacrifice something. Oh, well. Took too long. Well, yeah, you know, the game is acting like slow spaghettis. Yeah, don't need any of those today. Mm. <sighs> Alright, Zoibs, this is it. This is the end. What's the man's rank? 34. Bam. Squeaked it. Well, I wouldn't say squeaked it. I'd say this deck is ropey and I got enough cards out of his hand to just fuck his balls up. All right. Tomorrow. What are we playing tomorrow? The Enchantments. I think Enchantments is tomorrow's game because it's fucking great. Zoibles.